Hi, and welcome to the fifth episode of Autism Talk TV, the online television show about autism produced by WrongPlanet.net. I'm Alex Plank. And I'm Jack Robeson. What's your connection to autism? Well, I'm an Aspergian, and my father wrote Look Me in the Eye, and uh, I've also been involved at the TMS program at Harvard Medical in Beth Israel. Excellent. Jack and I recently met at the IMFAR conference in Philadelphia, where we talked to a lot of scientists about the future of autism research and the current breakthroughs. Uh, most recently, we sat down with Geraldine Dawson, who is the Chief Science Officer of Autism Speaks. Here's what she had to say. Well, I'm Geraldine Dawson, and I'm Chief Science Officer at Autism Speaks. And I've actually been involved with autism since the late 1970s, uh, when I was a graduate student and started to work uh, with a child with autism and their family. And I was just captured by that experience and decided to devote my entire career to it, which I have. Well, I think it's a very exciting time uh, for the science of uh, studying autism and more importantly how we're using science to improve the lives of people with autism. Um, just some examples that are really quite remarkable. Um, first of all, we're starting to uh, focus more on the quality of life of people with autism. You know, what are the conditions that are making their lives better? What are the conditions that they're struggling with? Uh, so one example is that many people with autism struggle with some sleep problems. Uh, some individuals have GI problems. Um, they can have other kinds of actually physical problems that are making it so that they're not able to enjoy life or even take advantage of the educational programs that are offered. So one of the things that we've been funding at Autism Speaks and, and they're presenting here at the conference is the Autism Treatment Network. And the goal there is to help doctors recognize some of these medical problems that, that individuals with autism are struggling with and to help them with those. And this is something we can do today that can make the lives of people with autism much better. I think that we're coming up with ways of helping people with autism be very successful in their everyday lives. So just um, the issue of inclusion in the classroom has changed. Um, when I first started out in the field, um, children with autism were separate, they had their own classroom, and now we realize that so many of these kids are doing so much better. Now they're in a regular classroom and they just need the support and they need ways of communicating. Uh, they may need um, you know, to sit in one area of the classroom so they can attend better, whatever needs to be done. But the fact is that um, having kids with autism spectrum disorder in the classroom or in the workplace not only enriches the lives of the people with autism, but it's enriching the lives of the people without autism who really get to understand the amazing diversity in humans and, and all the gifts that people with autism have to share.